The art of Hapkido is known for the beauty of its self-defense techniques, which usually end in picture-perfect flips and takedowns followed by some form of submission or immobilization. You'll even see many federations basing their logos off of these positions, much like our federation, the Chonggoryu. But the demonstrations have also been questioned for being too over-choreographed and more of an acting show than a self-defense display. So what is the truth? Are the techniques really effective or is the attacker just making them look good? First, let's talk about Hapkido generally. When you begin learning Hapkido, you learn a wide variety of things, not just having to do with combat, as I've mentioned in other videos. You learn about breathing, body and mind control, fitness and exercise, weapons, and of course, self-defense or Hoshin Sur in Korean. Self-defense indeed means protecting oneself, but not just from violent attacker, but against the far more common elements of the world. We are taught to avoid danger and conflict, but also to be prepared when it arises. That could simply mean tripping and falling on the shoelaces you forgot to tie. With that said, one of the most important things we practice in Hapkido is Nakbop, or break falling, where we teach our bodies to protect our most vital parts when we inevitably are forced into the ground either by someone or something else, or even inadvertently ourselves. This involves rolling or slapping onto the ground to distribute impact, which minimizes damage. It takes years of practice to master these and commit them to muscle memory. So getting back to the self-defense demonstrations, you may think it's too good to be true that someone can cause another person to flip so cleanly and beautifully. You might say the attacker instead is causing themselves to flip and land like that. You would actually be right in making those assumptions. You might more easily see now that the attackers here are in fact performing that knockbop when being thrown. This is to protect themselves. Remember, all Hapkido practitioners are doing, quote, self-defense, because at the end of the day, they're protecting themselves. So does this mean the art is fake and a scam, just made to look pretty to attract students? This is entirely not the case. While the attacker in a Hapkido demonstration is allowing themselves to be thrown and submitted, that's still better than the alternative for them. If you were to take a completely untrained person and insert them as an attacker and have the Hapkyo practitioner perform the throw on them, it wouldn't end well. The attacker would have broken bones and or sprained joints depending on what the technique was. The trained Hapkyo attacker is only performing the knockbop for their own benefit, and it just happens to look awesome at the same time. In order to make the Hapkyo demonstrations more realistic, you would end up with so many severe injuries, which is obviously not the goal and also not what people would want to see. The techniques are absolutely valid and they work practically when performed correctly. And while it is important to stress that the techniques would never go as cleanly in the street as they do in class and in demonstrations, it's still best to learn them in ideal conditions to ensure proper technique. I believe it takes the same amount of time to learn how to properly receive these techniques as it does to give them. So while you are normally watching a choreographed and practiced fight when you watch a Hapkido demo, you're not watching people waste their time and lie to you about the usefulness of the techniques. I hope this clears up some confusion for someone out there who has been told otherwise. Thanks for taking an interest in Hapkido and thanks for watching.